In this video, I'll show you how to scan using your Epson EcoTank ET2400 series printer. So before starting, we need to connect this printer to your phone. If you want to know how to connect it to your Windows computer or Mac computer, I have separate videos for this. In this video, we'll do it with a smartphone. So let me show you how to set it up with your phone and then I'll show you how to scan using the Wi-Fi. Go on your device, iPhone, Android and download the Epson Smart Panel app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Do not open it yet. Okay, for the next step, it depends if your printer is brand new and you didn't connect to any other devices in the past, you just need to keep this Wi-Fi button pressed during three seconds until the light over, over here starts blinking and the printer will be in pairing mode. If this printer has been used in the past with other devices, you can reset the Wi-Fi before putting the printer into pairing mode. And to reset the Wi-Fi, you need to keep press this I button and this power button both at the same time for about five seconds until the lights over here start flashing. Once they start flashing, you can release these buttons, wait three minutes, the lights over here will stop flashing and the Wi-Fi has been reset. Then you can go ahead and keep press, and I will do it with you, keep press this Wi-Fi wi button during about four seconds until the light starts um, flashing. Okay, you see, there's a light I can release, and now by flashing this way, it just means that the printer is in pairing mode. Therefore, we can go on the smartphone to finish the setup. So I'll go ahead and open the app we just downloaded press agree okay next next here I'll press while using the app next okay next allow there's many buttons to press. I wish it was easier, but this is how they made it. And now um, the app will search for the printer. That's not the printer. That's another Epson printer I have. We're looking for the ET2400. If the app didn't found your printer, press on product not found. Then uh, press on search again. Make sure that these lights are flashing. And if after this, uh, the app still didn't find your um, printer, press on this arrow here. Select use tiles. And this is the main menu of the app. Now we need to connect the printer, obviously. So I'll press this plus symbol on top. Then here you can say no and press on set up a new product. Press continue and here you should see your printer. So if you didn't see it the first time, the first way, by doing this second different way, you should see it. I don't know why, maybe it's a problem with the app, but anyway, at least we found our printer, the ET2400 series. Then press yes. If it's the first time setting up this printer and you have just put the new ink from the bottles in the ink tanks, you'll have a small dialogue on the screen telling you um, to initialize the ink. It takes about 11 minutes. I already did it for this printer, so this is why I don't see this, uh, this message. What I see here now is to connect it to the Wi-Fi. So I'll click on proceed to Wi-Fi connection settings. Press next. Make sure that this is the name of your Wi-Fi network at home and then press yes if it is. Now it's time to put the Wi-Fi password of your network. Press next, next, yes, next. And now type the Wi-Fi password. Once you're done, press OK. Epson made this setup looking like you have a conversation with them. It's a bit weird, to be honest. Then press yes here to confirm. 
it will now try to connect the printer to your Wi-Fi network. Then you should get this message that is saying Wi-Fi setup is complete and the smartphone and the product are connected. This means that everything went well, so press next. If there is a new firmware available for your printer, they'll ask you to install it, press yes, it's always good to have the last firmware, press agree. It will download and then it will install it. It, it simply takes about two minutes, so not too much time lost here. The scanner is located on the top here, you just need to lift this lid. Take the document you want to scan and you're going to place it facing down and you see there is an arrow over here. You need to glide the corner of your paper towards that arrow until it touches it like this, okay? So the paper is aligned with the arrow. Then close the lid. And by the way, if you want to make a copy, you just need to put paper there and select over here if you want the copy to be in color or in black and white. If you simply want to scan it on your phone, you're gonna press the green scan button on the main menu of the app. And here are some options. Under document size, make sure this is the right size uh, of a document, the one that you have input on the scanner. Image type, select if you want a scan to be in color. Resolution here, press on it. If you're scanning pictures or maybe a document like an artwork or a graphic that has a lot of details, I suggest you select the highest, which is 600 dpi. This will take more time to scan, but it will give you the best details. If you're simply scanning text or just a document like the one I just put there, which is text mixed with some graphics, well, you can leave it to 200 dpi. This is plenty enough for this kind of situation. Then you have remove background. In our case, it's not important, but if you had a picture, let's say, with a lot of white background around and you want to isolate the, the picture, you can select remove background. Automatic rotation, it's up to you to keep it on and off. It's not important since we can rotate the scan afterwards. Finally, you have image format. So if you're scanning text, choose PDF. If you're scanning pictures, choose JPEG. TIFF is not widely used. Finally, press the green button here when you're ready. And here we have the scan. Once you get this preview, you can delete it if you're not happy with the results. You can also zoom in to see if there's enough detail for you. If you find that it's not enough, you just have to choose a higher DPI number the way I showed you previously. You can also crop it if you just want a portion of this page to be saved. And you can also rotate it by pressing this button over here. Finally, if you're scanning a document let's say with 10 pages or 20 pages or even 50 pages and you want to combine them in one single document, one single PDF, you just need to press the plus button here and redo the same thing we just did. So lift the cover, take this out, put the next page, scan it and all your scans will appear one after another here and they'll be combined at the end. Then press next give this file a new name and then location is where you want this scan to be saved on your phone so press on this and select the folder on your phone where you want this to go you can also create a new folder if you want to have a specific folder just for your scan like this then i'll click use this folder allow and press save you'll get this confirmation message saying that the file has been saved. Press yes, and we're back on the home screen. So this is it, I hope this video was helpful. If you want to support my channel, check the Amazon affiliate links in the description down below to get some new ink for your printer or maybe some paper as well. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.